hello guys um i have been a photographer myself for quite a while i have been occasional photographer i do sports photography and uh, looking back when i saw uh, that there is a challenge when you are, want to sort out the photos so especially when you are a sports photographer you want to find out the image the labels the numbers the ticket of the user of the sports person and then you want to put the images accordingly in appropriate folder or you want to link or send it to them and i wanted to have some kind of solution for this so uh, with my programming knowledge uh, i came up with a algorithm which can help you i think i will it will help you sort your photographs much better so without taking a lot of time i just wanted to show you a small demo hopefully it you will like it so for example i have thousands of photo for my sample i have taken few photographs let's say 30 photographs i have put it into a folder called sports folder and these are my files so i'll also send you the links Uh, you can look at these images and then see and you can compare the results with it so these are the images on which i'm going to work upon and i have written a small program this program also can be accessed via web from wherever you want and then i go to the actual program so it's it's a program that will call some apis and give the results output for us so let's go to this in the demo i will just describe so here basically what we are going to do is we are going to initialize some of the objects so there is going to be a file in the file we are going to list all the images and as per whatever is there in this list then we will process each image one by one and this is the directory where i have stored all my uh, photographs and basically this is a variable which is going to contain the output result for us so let's initialize it initialized and basically this is the function which is going to do pull out the list of all the jpg files and put it into the files and the function here is actually going to do processing for us so for example as of now i have 30 odd images in the folder and we'll see how much time does it take so it says in the sports hyphen 1 jpg it found a number 2303 in sports 10 it found a number 5454 lavasta 5 so on and so forth and if you look down there he has basically you can see it's it's pretty fast actually for every file it has it has gone and looked for it's not just ocr i mean oc of course uh, if 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 we really drill down then it's an ocr it reads it tries to capture the uh, you know characters in every image but then it's much more than that of so it it really goes through the whole artificial intelligence processing by google and it outputs the results here so we can see that there are some uh, you know text which is not really relevant for us so for example we are only interested in the number so we we final output we want is the number 3080 is there in the file sports 19 so this is the first processing uh, hopefully it has processed everything yeah we can see that it has processed close to 30 files uh, let's forget about cpu user time but then wall time is the actual time that we see for a user it processed 30 images in just 1 minute and 4 seconds and let's see as i said this is the output we wanted to have for the users where we say what was the number what was the chest number or what was the uh, uh, you know athlete number 
that was present in the uh, uh, particular image. So for example, this user 1372 was present in two images, sports 12 image and sports 9 image. Or the other way around, we can say the sports image sports 2 had user or athlete 053 as well as uh, you know user 059 or 2068 and things like that let's try to have a look at how does this image really looks like so for example sports 2 sports 2 sports 2 sports 2 let's have a link ah. So I can see 2068, 1327. It's even difficult for a human to read actually, but the machine has really read it quite nicely. And of course, there was a some digit which we can't see and 059. So it is prone to errors. It's not 100% best, but then I think for a human, it can reduce huge amount of time. So guys, if you like it, just give me a call back and uh, we can we can work on it together I can share that program with you I can help you making it better any questions any concerns any so okay going back to our program I mean this is just an output which I wanted to show you to you I mean we can what we can do is we can just write it into a file and then uh, I can send you the this file can be then send it to anybody really to use it you really don't need to know any programming language it's just one time setup which can be done like in in, in a day or so uh, and then after that from irrespective of where you are you can just upload the photos to google drive and then uh, run just three script three buttons and it will do it for you hopefully you like it just let me know if you know, need to have more information. I have given my email ID below. Thank you so much.